Hello, how is your data center doing? What? My data center? I hope you guys created a cloud account and created your VPC and playing with it. So practice always make perfect. You have to practice, you have to do this, right? Because if you watch the just video, you will feel, okay, that's very easy. It is not, you must practiced it then only it uh, you have a hands-on and then only digest within you to do something whenever uh, whenever need right so some troubleshooting anything you need to have a hands-on if you need to get hands-on you need to do it no shortcuts okay so today I'm going to show you how you can create a private network within your VPC right so a little bit uh, eventually we need to remove this uh, data center word it is not much matching with uh, cloud so let's go with the VPC so why we need to create a private network within VPC so here's one use case if you're following my uh, microservice especially theory playlist you learned over there usually API gateways reverse proxies those are the things uh, stay in uh, public network right but your data, your services, your database, and in the last uh, few videos, we learned about Ansible. Those type of things will stay in the private network, right? So why this is different? Because usually you don't give the direct access to the private network. Why? Because those are sensitive things and uh, those are data related things. And uh, so usually you don't give that access. So you always give access through the public network. But Private, uh, in a private network, you may have uh, APIs, uh, so microservices, may they need to talk to the, some other uh, APIs in the public internet. For example, let's say you have a service that need to create a DMV service, right? Mo motor vehicle, inf get the motor vehicle information, probably you need to call DMV service. Probably you may have a service which need to talk to currency conversion service. You may have a service which may need to talk to some airline information service or something like that. They may need to talk to external services. Also, they need to get the uh, patch update and so many things. That means they actually need internet, right? It is not that they don't need internet, they need internet. But same time, you need to control that internet from, uh, you need to control that traffic, right? Why? Because otherwise, uh, unauthorized access may come into this and your uh, network get compromised. Okay, so here's a trick, right? So we are going to create a private network and we are going to create a NAT gateway, not the real uh, NAT, uh, real gateway, but we are going to use a NAT instance to uh, route the traffic between the private and public network to internet, right? So with this, we are going to completely block uh, private network, right? We are not going to give the internet access, but if they need to talk to internet, we are going to relay their traffic through NAT instance, right? So what, this is how really does that work, right? If someone wants to come into your private network, that is not allowed. But if someone is from your private network, talk to your pub public internet, and if the response need to reach to them, be allowing that. The bouncing back traffic is allowing, right? You understand? If your private network, some instance from the private network want to go to internet, that's allowed, right? And the response also allowed. But if someone from a public internet trying to access your, uh, someone in the private network, then that's not allowed, right? So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now here we have the instance what we created last time, right? And then uh, from here onwards, we are going to continue, right? So this is continuation from the last video. So this basic setup is created in the last video. So if you didn't watch that, you may need that because otherwise uh, you may not understand this one. Okay, I'll put the link below in the description. Today I'm going to directly create this stuff because uh, I uh, already explained these uh, things in the uh, last video. Okay, so we created one uh, subnet for us called uh, Code Labs Public, right? So today I'm going to create other subnet and I'm going to name this as a Code Labs Private Network, right? and still should be the code lab sample vpc and my in, uh, ip block is 10.0.91.0.2 right so for the last uh, subnet public subnet we get 81 so here i'm going to give 91 right so if you see here now i have a code labs private and the public net uh, network right 
Okay, so this is a 91 private one and the public one is a 81, right? In last video for the public subnet, we configured this routing table is uh, to access the internet, right? So for the private network, so I'm going to create a new uh, routing table. Here I'm going to create a name tag as uh, private network routing table, right? And my VPC is this, okay? So good. So now I have other uh, routing table here. Here you have something called subnet associations, right? So for the subnet, I'm going to uh, give my private subnet to this routing table, right? So now if you go back to subnet, you will see this for the private subnet. So you have this routing table, right? This private routing, right? For the public uh, subnet you have this routing table this one right for this one we didn't give any name so it has uh, default this um, arbitrary just just weird number uh, name right but you understand right so you can see uh, routing rules are different this has a public can go to internet this cannot go to the internet okay so for one subnet you only can have one routing table right so that's why it uh, replaced uh, the previous one and uh, assigned this new one Right, so now that part is done. So what we are going to do here, we are going to create, okay, first I'll show you uh, how this is work, right? First I'm going to create new EC2 instance to my new subnet, right? So I'm going to create launch instance. Since you know um, how to do this, I'm going to quickly do this. Here purposely I am not going to assign any uh, public IP here right so that is the whole point right for my uh, this is a private network uh, EC2 instance so it should not have any uh, public IP right it should not be addressed publicly right. So now this this is a uh, subnet private subnet and that is it. Okay, so now you can see for this newly created one, you don't have a public IP address. So that means we cannot directly connect from my local machine to this uh, instance, right? So the only way I can do this, I connect to some other instance in the uh, same network, same VPC and I can SSH from that, right? Okay, for this I need to copy my uh, certificate to uh, my instance, right? Public instance, I'm going to do that. Okay, I have done this uh, before in my previous video, so that's why I'm not explaining. I'm just copying my certificate over here, right, to my public instance. Okay, so good. Now I'm going to connect to that. So now he, from here, I can connect to my instance in my private network, right? So what is the local IP address for that? This one, 157, right? So SSH minus I code lab spam EC2 user at 10.0.91.157. Oops. Okay. So now I'm in the machine. So now I'm trying to just see whether I have internet access, right? I'm just going to see like wget www.com. So now it will trying to connect, but it cannot connect because it do not have internet, right? Why? Because uh, if you see carefully, its routing table does not allow go to internet, right? So now it's trying to go to Google, but if you come here. to the, uh, this subnet and that subnet associate with the uh, new routing table which is our private routing table right so in this routing we don't have uh, access to internet right now what we are going to do we are going to create net instance in our public subnet right so then we are going to tell to route this traffic to internet okay 
So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to go EC2 instance. This is a little bit different than you creating ordinary uh, EC2 instance. So it's better uh, you pay good attention here. So you can create this uh, launch instance as usual. But here you need to go to this community AMIs, right? And you need to search something called NAT, right? And I, I like to get uh, HVM, right? So I'm going to search that. So we have this one, right? Uh, Amazon AMI VPC NAT HVM. I'm going to select this, right? So this is special um, AMIs, right? Not the usual one. So this is specially configured to do this netting job, right? So general purpose is fine. And this must be go to public subnet, right? And it's obviously it should must have a pub public IP. Okay, so public subnet and public IP, right? And add storage, this is fine. So I'm going to add the tag called NAT. Go with existing security group. Okay, that's fine. It's asking to go with the SSD launch. Same key pair. Okay, now it's created, right? So there is something special we need to do here. Uh, usually in a network, there is something called source destination check. What it means, if there is a traffic flowing, right? If the destination is you, then it's accept the traffic uh, to you. Otherwise, it doesn't like, it doesn't consider on that. So, but here, this traffic, whatever the traffic is going through this net instance, it's not mean to uh, come into that instance, right? It's just trying to go through this. So therefore, we need to disable this source destination check, right? So how you can do that, you can right click on the instance, you can go to networking, there is something called change source destination check, right? It's asking, are you sure that you would like to change source destination check, for instance, with the following detail, right? Yeah, yes, I'm sure, just disable that, right? So now, here onward, it does not check this source destination anymore, right? So you can see here, source uh, this check is false now, right? It doesn't check that. So now it's good, right? Now, if we check uh, here, if you are trying to uh, do this uh, connect communication again, still it will not work, right? So you can see here, okay? So now it says, okay, I cannot go there. Why? Because I, we did not put the rule, right? So let's go to this uh, subnet. So what is the subnet we need to go, right? So uh, private subnet, right? So because we need to tell private subnet, if someone is going to access the internet, then route it through the net, right? So this is his route. Okay, and routing table, private route. So I'm going to add one more routing address here, right? Here you have a 10.0.0. So I'm going to tell if anyone trying to access public internet, route them through, see here, you need to select the instance and then select your net instance, okay? So now, okay, so here still it cannot connect, right? It's trying to connect, but it cannot. So I'm going to save this, okay? Now it's successfully saved. And now just wait a little bit. Either you can wait here or either you can initiate this uh, request again, right? It doesn't uh, much different. But if you like, if you initiate this request again, it will be uh, very fast because it's trying to connect, right? So now let's do that. Okay, before that uh, it worked, right? So let's try again. Okay, I'm going to send the request again. Okay, so now it's working, right? So it's working. But if I remove these rules, so now it's working. So in moment, if I remove this rule, right, if I remove this and save, then it will not work anymore, right? It will not work anymore, right? So save. Okay. So that is a one way of creating a private network within your VPC, right? Why we need a private network? So then we can put all our services in this network. So from outside, no one can access these uh, services without coming through your reverse proxy or API gateway, right? But same time, uh, they can access outside the world, but without having an internet, right? You don't have to connect them to internet gateway. You don't have to them to give a public IP even, but still they can connect to public internet, right? So this is a one way you can configure a private network within your VPC, okay? 
So, I think now you know enough about uh, AWS uh, to understand uh, how this uh, stuff work together to get our uh, usual work done, normal work done, but this is not enough to like go for certification, right? But this will uh, give you a basic in, uh, idea about how uh, your VPC, cloud VPC work along with your services and all those things. If you need anything um, more to learn about this, you just put a um, uh, comment uh, in my Facebook page. You can uh, put a comment to my video or send an uh, inbox message to my Facebook page, right? Not to the profile. Okay, so then subscribe, uh, put the comment, like because your comment and your like, uh, especially your comment. So what you feel about these videos is really, really encouragement to do something new. Okay, so then uh, see you again in the next video. Stay safe and take care.